Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Wednesday, March the 3rd, and it's 4.21 p.m. And I want to bring to you um, this letter from Dawn. There's two entries in it. One is the small straws and a soft wind, and it's a good one for those to whom it pertains. You'll know or not. The second one is part two of two. I read you part one of two day before yesterday, I think it was. This, well, might have been more than that because this was put up on March 1st. I kind of got behind. I was sort of snowed under with so many emails. And here's the thing, they weren't all like this, like things to share, you know. It's like... Um, what should have gone to spam isn't going to spam it's coming into my regular email like some people that i'm giving my email to like businesses not you all are selling my email address and it and it causes me to have i go through them and i try to okay delete delete well actually i i do the equivalent of a right click and uh, move it to spam so that it shouldn't, those should not come back to me, but they do. They still do. So I have to go down to the bottom, you know, scroll all the way through their advertising and look for the teeny weeniest little print that says unsubscribe me. Anyway, it takes time, and it's a daily thing. And so uh, I get behind. Anyway, moving on. I got three in here, and I don't want to delete any of them. All right. Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. Like I said, this came in March the 1st. All right. Now, this is for those to whom it pertains. Position yourself spiritually to receive all that I have for you. To those who are living beneath your potential, it is time for you to rise up and live according to my grace and empowerment. Allow me to lift you up above what you have imagined. Now, I could take that one of two ways. Allow me to lift you up above what you have imagined. Is that like going outside of time? Or some folks still call it the rapture. Well, it is a rapture. We're being taken away. We're being taken outside of time. Never to return. We will return, but we will be, <laughs> how does it, Kathy puts it, outside of time, inside of time. <laughs> That's a little confusing, but we'll be back to help everybody left behind that wants help. Or that the Lord tells us to help. Because so many have taken the vaccine already, and so I don't guess... We will be uh, helping them. But I hope I can say that. Uh, see, it's hard to do a video anymore. i got to really, really watch what I say. I don't want to be mean to anybody or get my channel cut off or anything. Just always remember, if I do lose my channel, I still have bit shoot. And it may end up being Brighty on because I upload bit shoot videos and they don't upload. And once again, they tell me, delete it and then start again. And many times I've already cleared my desktop and, and put the original video in the trash. And I try to keep the trash cleared out because that keeps everything running smoother. Here we go. 
Position yourselves spiritually to receive all that I have for you. To those who are living beneath your potential, it is time for you to rise up and live according to my grace and empowerment. Allow me to lift you up above what you have imagined. That which has seemed impossible to you is possible with me. Always remember that, brothers and sisters. With our God, nothing is impossible. The, the verse Marcia put with this is Luke 18, verse 27. But he said, The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Okay, the next one is a word from my wise virgins, February 9, 21. That's when she received it. Roxanne received it, and this is part two of two. Now, to me, this is speaking to the... See, if you caught what I said yesterday... I believe it was yesterday that the the ten virgins wise and foolish together represent the left behind church why you say it we all thought the first five the five wise are the bridesmaids the or the bride well because in our Bible study one night a couple weeks ago, when Kathy discovered the Aramaic Bible, she pulled it up. We looked at this particular parable, and it said that they were waiting for the bride and groom. So the 144,000 that make up the bride and the groom were coming for the bridal party or the wedding. I, I don't know which. Doesn't matter. The people that were waiting on the Lord were wise and foolish virgins. Now, you realize from the parable, the foolish virgins were, they brought some oil. They sure did. They had had oil light lit when they got there, but they had fallen asleep. So did the wise. I mean, as humans, we need sleep. Okay? But when the call rang out, they're coming, they're coming. They all woke up and trimmed, went to trim their lamps. The foolish found theirs was going out. The wise had plenty. They brought an extra vessel of oil. I've always thought the oil was the Holy Spirit. The oil represents the Holy Spirit. But you can't go into town and buy more Holy Spirit, can you? So what do you think represents... Them going to town to buy. What does the oil represent? I think it means trust and faith. They ran out of faith and trust. I think they were out of more than just oil. They were probably out of food, provisions they needed to buy. And what is it that we need to buy at some point after the first rapture? Right now, the places that are doing it, like I think it's the UK, you can't go anywhere except the grocery store or I think the hospitals. You can still go to without having received, uh, you know, the treatment that they have prescribed for the COVID. So for right now, you can go by. At some point, you won't be able to without it. So they come back. 
they've got what they want now, got what they need, and they knock on the door, Master, open to us. Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Why doesn't he know them? Jesus, doesn't he know everything? Of course he does. They're no longer his. Why would he say that? They were dressed right. They, they knew him. They were waiting on him. They wanted to be with him. They were waiting to go to heaven with him. Why would he say, I don't know you? So they were no longer what he created. All right. So now, listen to this. My children, sorry, my children battle on their knees. The carnal ones use earthly weapons. My children, if you trust me, I will hide you from them. Where your homes are, they will see an empty field. This sounds like after the first rapture. He's going to hide those who trust in him. Where your cars are, green grass. Where you are sitting, an empty chair. Trust me. Ask me to prepare your hearts, your walk, and your minds for such things. Okay, um, famine is coming. Prepare and I will provide. Get your homes ready for guests. I will bring them. Be ready to evacuate. I will lead you to safety and a warm bed. See, some will be called to take in some people. Others will be told to flee, not take in people, just leave. So what should you prepare? Pray to the Lord and think, what do I need? Have a bug out bag ready. If he's not telling you to stay and prepare for others, maybe you don't have a very big place. Okay. Pray for trust belief and a release of your transgressions that's praying for repentant you know repenting walk with me in spirit and in truth be asking to be filled with the holy spirit lo i come quickly even at the very door i am anxious for my bride my children, I know not the day, wait a minute, lo, I come quickly, even at the very door, I am anxious for my bride, my children, I know not the day or the hour, now, I'm not real sure if he is saying I am anxious for my bride, I'm anxious for my bride, my children, or I'm anxious for my bride and my children, or is he calling his bride his children? Tell me how you take that. I am anxious for my bride, my children. I know not the day or the hour, so I cannot share a time frame. I can share the heavenly activity. We are almost ready for you. A few more final touches to your mansions, my father's house and the wedding preparations. Once that is finished, my father releases me to come for my bride who has readied herself. The rest will have to work a thousand times harder to stay true to me, 
while enduring great tribulation in my Father's wrath. Stay true to me. Once you are with me, all will be revealed. Until that time, extend all trust to me, remembering I never lie, I never harm you. It is all a test of your will and desire to come back home to me. Love, Yahushua, Jesus, the lover of your soul. The Old Testament is the New Testament concealed. The New Testament is the Old Testament revealed. These are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the Law of Moses and the Prophets and the Psalms concerning me. Luke twenty four forty four. The things that were written concerning him. There's a lot of prophecy in the Old Testament concerning Jesus. Some of it has not been fulfilled. Given with the message, Daniel 11, 1 through 7, Acts 17, 30 through 32, and 1 Peter 3, 1 through 11. And that's the end of that message. I thought that was the end of it for some reason. She doesn't usually stick one of those right in the middle. This is a good one. Don't think of yourself as odd because you have held on to something you are believing me for. Even when everyone would have or has already given up, expectation is a multifaceted instrument that I can truly appreciate. I give you credit for strengthening your resolve against all odds. Holding on to promises invigorates your spirit like almost nothing else. Be encouraged because I am about to reinforce your expectation and belief to a higher plane. Proverbs 13.12 was added. Delayed expectation makes one sick at heart. But a fulfilled longing is a tree of life, and that was given to Kevin Robinson. Okay, I'm going to end it there. Okay. So, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, and I hope it stays up. And I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections. Okay, and with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.